Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and today I'm doing another uh, Star Trek The Original Series 2-pack. Um, today this is uh, Mr. Spock and Scotty. Very cool. Of course, two essential characters. Um, all the 2-packs just have like the main characters. Very cool. Um, it's got the same generic back as the other 2-pack that I did. Just shows off some of the other stuff they've made. A couple props and different action figures and stuff. Uh, made by Diamond Select Toys in 2009. <clears throat> it's very cool. Um, price tag says I got it for $31.99, but I actually got this for about $15 bucks, um, for my comic shop. So anyways, let's take a quick break and we'll get these two out of the package. Alright guys, we're back with uh, Spock and Scotty. Uh, first off, let's show the accessories. Um, comes with this, uh, which I believe is the uh, tricorder. It has a pretty cool like rubbery strap. Very nice. Um, it comes with uh, two phasers, which are actually a little bit different. Just show this one a little bit. And the other one has a white handle. And, uh, you know, a couple. This one has gray on it, while this one's just all black. So that's kind of cool, just they're painted up a little bit different. And then, of course, you get uh, two communicators. Very awesome. It's very cool. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Spock. Very nice looking Spock. Uh, the face sculpt's pretty good. Could be a little better, but uh, some of the likenesses on a few of these characters aren't really spot on. Um, but then, on the same hand, there's you know, some of them that are you know, really good, so, you know, there's this little Starfleet logo, and as far as the original series, I'm not sure what all the different symbols mean, I don't know, it seems like they all had different symbols on the inside of their logo, so I'm not exactly sure if that was their rank or what, very cool, it's got some gold trim around his shirt, and black pants, and his really shiny black boots, the boots are kind of cool, they're all wrinkled up like, you know, those kind of leathery boots. Very cool. And of course he's got one hand which is molded into the uh, live long and prosper hand. Very cool. It would have been nice if he came with the uh, you know alternate hand or something to take that off. Um, but it didn't. I'm pretty sure um, I don't have the single card version of him but I'm pretty sure it does come with alternate hands. Um, but I can't be positive about that. And the same thing with the uh, Kirk. His shirt is rubbery. Um, you know, not not on the sleeves or anything, just stops right there. But uh, you, know, you can kind of lift it up if you guys can see that. There you go. But very cool figure. Really like these guys, and uh, I don't think I've really mentioned, but these are seven inches tall. Um, so a little bit taller than your average, you know, like six inch figure or anything. But still very nice. I'll go ahead and go over articulation on him. He has a uh, swivel in the neck. And uh, he's got this kind of weird rocking joint. And the, the neck joints are actually really nice on these figures. I really like those. Uh, the ball jointed shoulder, which goes in and out, backward and forward. A swivel at the upper bicep. Single jointed elbow. A swivel in the wrist. A swivel in the waist. Uh, back and forward hip joint. As well as a swivel in the thigh. Single jointed knee. A uh, swivel at the top of the boot and a back and forward pivot in the foot. <clears throat> so pretty well articulated. Um, you know, can't get too many dynamic poses with them, but uh, you know, pretty nice. And we'll go ahead and take a look at Scotty, which is, I'm not gonna go over articulation because they're basically the same. Um, he's got that very vibrant red shirt and his uh, Starfleet logo, which is a little bit different. Um, same kind of shiny boots and I like how they have the uh, the flare and the pants like they did. Very cool. Um, and this is definitely a younger Scotty. I can't really tell you if this is uh, a pretty good head sculpt or not. Um, like I said in my last review, as far as the uh, original series goes, I really didn't watch it too much. Um, haven't had a chance to watch it. Uh, you know, it played on TV when I was a kid, so I watched it a little bit. Um, but since then, you know, they really haven't shown reruns of it too much. And uh, I haven't been able to buy it on DVD since it's so expensive. 
so I just really haven't had an opportunity to watch the show. And most of what I know from the original series characters came from the movies. And the movies were made, you know, several years later. And uh, Mr. Scotty was actually, you know, he had grayish hair and he had a big old pot belly and stuff. Um, so that's more of the Scotty that I know. But, uh, you yeah, know, this is a slimmer, younger Scotty. Um, you know, the, the face sculpt does look pretty good. I mean, it, it's pretty reminiscent of the Scotty that I know. It's just, you know, the dark hair and the younger look to him. I'm not sure <clears throat> if that fits him perfectly, but uh looks pretty nice. So anyways, that was a pretty cool two-pack with uh, Mr. Spock and Mr. Scotty. Thanks for checking them out, guys.